Hello everyone, welcome to today's video on day 3 webinar brief in CLEP 2 spoken English series by APSERT. Thank you for watching me on Madhvi Vlogs is a place for teachers. Today's topic is about active listening for better spoken skills by Shobha Ma'am, Faculty of English, Anna University, Chennai. Topics covered in this session are What is active listening? Listening as input for speaking. Strategies for listening. Here is a meaningful quote. Usually, this quote helps us to drive towards objective. Our goal is not to become native like, but to understand and be understood. Oka baasha no nerchkune prayatna lo mana madati metu venadam. Venadam valna a baasha ku mana ku snehipura ku sambandham air paradam e kaka. Baasha samupajina kausar maye tadupari prayatna laku mana manasu siddhapadutundi. So, Uddesa Purokanga, Mariu Kriya Selakanga, Venadam Valle, Pradamikanga, E. Bashnana, Nechkogalutum. Venadam, Mariu Kriya Selakanga, Venadam, Majatadal and Chudum. Now, topic is about active listening. Here we can find the differences between hearing and listening. In this picture, there are two persons, one person is speaking with the other person. But in the first picture, the listener is not interested to listen the other. In the other picture, the listener is thinking about what the other person is saying. The first picture is an example for hearing and the other is an example for listening. Here are the differences between hearing and listening. Hearing is accidental, involuntary and effortless. But the listening is focused, voluntary and intentional. Here are some examples for active listening. The doctor is listening the patient's heartbeat. In this picture, children are listening to her teacher carefully for learning music. This is one more example. The children and the mother connected each other by the gestures. Here is a quote by Larry King. I remind myself every morning, nothing I say this day will teach me anything. So, if I am going to learn, I must do it by listening. Here are two pie charts. In the first chart, the majority of the language acquisition happened through communicating only. It's up to 70%. In the next pie chart, the majority of the language acquisition happened through listening up to 45%. Letter speaking 30%, reading 16% and writing 9% takes place in this order. The Chinese characters that make up the verb to listen tell us something significant about this skill. This means if we are going to listen anyone, we have to empathize with their context and we need to give ears, eyes, undivided attention and the heart in the listening process. Here are some general difficulties that we found by listening to someone or something. They are pace, utter ones, accents. And the point two is listening as input for speaking. Here are the hierarchy of listening, speaking, reading and writing in language acquisition. Here listening comes first. Here are language skills and primary skills are listening, reading, speaking and writing. We know that listening and reading are receptive skills and speaking, writing are productive skills. And various sub-skills are grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation and non-verbal. Things in the long ways process. We have to remember, listening is the natural precursor to speaking. Here are some strategies for listening. We can familiarize with the long ways by following some TV series. Here are some suggested steps to follow. First, we try to watch with subtitles once. And turn off subtitles and listen and try for better by reversing the process and this is another strategy listening to and watching movies we must remember to follow these steps offer a variety of sounds short sentences rhythm and intonation and the other strategy is record and listen here some TED talks and ink talks will help us as best inputs with transcription to follow the other strategy is listening and singing here are some lyrics for a song. And one more important strategy is following 
episodes in youtube channel which is a suggested channel english class 101.com here are some sounds will confuse us in listening like sleep slipped and i can't do it i can't do it and walk work and also some sentences in connected speech will confuse us like the sentence turn on the light we spell this sentence like turn on the light today's session is ended by q and a thank you for watching me and listening me in my channel madhvi vlogs for the reading material and the webinar video link see the description i'm hoping you like my videos if you like don't forget to share and subscribe thank you